uh, what happens during walking. Uh, what all I'm discussing, you can practically feel. I'm I'm giving some rough diagrams. Uh, at least, at least uh, with keeping these diagrams in the mind, try to. So this is the position. This will be the position of ankle. So here, what happened? No, no, it is landing on the ground. No? This is the ground. So when, <coughs> when, when our leg is landing on the ground, first year, first case is what? Leg. leg landing on the on the ground A any leg it is right or left leg any any leg that is landing on the ground leg landing on the ground uh, th this is leg uh, so do don't uh, okay no yeah. uh, when the leg is landing on the ground uh, tell me what actually happens here yeah this will be uh, tell me how the friction should act. Friction will always act opposite relative motion. No? Friction will always act opposite relative motion. So how the direction of friction? The direction of friction on, on the on the leg will be in this direction. On the ground, we are not bothered. Leave it here. When it is landing. Similarly, when when it has landed and the person has you now the foot or the pen has come in contact. Oh. No, no, uh, you can see that all, all the total foot all up is in contact here. No friction will act here. The reaction force, so no, no friction here. No. When foot has completely landed. Now, when he's again lifting that. So will be. So he is lifting his leg. Hmm. And I know what happened. Uh, no, no friction here. So here. So now you can see he is taking off at takeoff. Leg at take off all of you are you getting the words take off so when i am lifting so you can see the ankle ankle is not in contact only the fingers open when he's about to take it off no <coughs> only the toe <coughs> the fingers that will be in contact here now so how the friction should act you know the friction will be acting in this direction the same leg what happen when it's landing it will be backward when it is take off it will be forward here so this is about the one like this, the two legs are there. Try to think now when the person is walking, how the friction will be acting on him. Friction will be acting on him, that one. So when the person is walking. Sir. Ah. Why in the first case friction is backwards? Sir? Why more? It, it is happening naturally. The, the, because the ankle, what when you are landing, I, I think you, you didn't walk till now. I think you are now uh, at certain age you are walking now. Why don't you just leave all this and walk once and come? When you are landing, see like a, when you are putting your leg on the ground, you will be your leg will be moving forward or upward or backward or rotating. You will be moving forward, no? Uh, am I right? So th this is again, you should not ask me why, why, because you are landing. No, so why you are landing means then what I can say that. You say relative motion. Landing means what when you are moving forward. No, 
the friction will oppose relative motion. So friction will lie backward here. When you are taking off, you will be pressing your <coughs> the fingers and you are trying to move backward this leg. Dear see this one. This will be trying to go like this, no? The friction will act here. So when you are landing on pen, the leg what happened will be trying to move forward. So the ground will exit a force. So friction will be like this. Here open, you are taking off. When you're taking off open, you try to push the ground backward. So the friction by the ground on the fingers, not at, at ankle, that one. So this particular toe, this called a toe, no, will be acting forward. Okay, fine. So th th this what naturally it happens. Uh, you, you are supposed to make observation, nothing big. It, it naturally it happens. So here I'll, uh, on, on the person, it is like this. So I, I'm showing the foot. You, you can see that the, the, there's a foot like this. I'll, I'll make it thick. Okay, now uh, tell me like how the friction you are supposed to show that it's a landing. No, how the friction friction here should be backward. This this front this this leg is landing. It's a la landing foot backward, and and this is taking off. The friction here should be. Okay, fine. Uh, try to see this one. So there's a landing foot. And this is takeoff foot. This is what naturally happens. Uh, now, uh, what makes me to move? <coughs> the friction only. So which force should be greater now? F2 should be greater than F1. Then only what happens, I'm able to move forward. So therefore, when a person walks, what is the net force by the ground on the person should be in forward direction. And that resultant friction force is what we are going to take in the numerical. So when person... Uh, now one more question I'm asking. Is it a static or kinetic? This is F1. This F1, F2, are they static or kinetic? I'll, I'll give the symbol according to the thing F2, this will be F1. The friction will be different here. And now, is it a static or kinetic? Both are static here. Both F1, F2 are static. Okay, this one. So when a person walks on rough surface, the resultant static friction the resultant static friction acts in the direction of its motion a hey, switch off video switch off video Okay, got this. So when a person walks on the surface, there is a tense static friction acts in the direction of its motion. And this is very important. I'm saying it's a static friction. It's not kinetic. It'll be static. But sir, he's moving. You look at your leg. I think I, I want really to students to make observation rather than uh, asking me any question. No, just you do walk. How do you walk? So when you are leg, you try to walk it and record that video of your movement of legs. No, check it. No. Uh, the friction acting must be static here, not kinetic. You run whatever you do that one, it will be static only. Because the moment you come in contact with the ground, then what happens, you, you are able to rub, rub that surface, no? With the ankle or anything landing or you say like a taking off, so the friction acting will be static in nature. And how hard you press based on that weapon again, the value of F1, F2 will come again. Okay, so there are many other parameters are there I'm trying to avoid at this particular stage. So now in our numericals, what we should do? The static friction acting on person should be in the direction of his motion. This is a conclusion. Okay, now uh, one more thing. Let's take the example of a person walking on ice. 
then how, suppose if any uh, oil is spilled on the floor or if you are walking on ice platform or smooth platform so very less friction is there uh, how you should walk you should walk in with the small steps or smaller steps or bigger steps so here what happened that the same discussion i'll continue here so let me take a person a little bit torque i'll i'll take help of <coughs> those who are having okay i can't explain the talk talk i need to hours time just to conclude that topic i'm just introducing a torque idea okay they 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 about the person and there's a ground now uh, as usual the same same diagram same diagram i'm going to continue here this will be f1 this will be f2 here the normal contacts n1 the normal contact here n2 this with it so about uh, is navel navel let me take a reference so the navel of this person will be height the center of mass will be just near by the navel navel uh, navel in our belly so let i let h be the height of center of mass of that particular person and uh, let this distance uh, what is d d is a distance one 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 step so d is what we write d is the length of one step all right again distance uh, you will get confused so length of one step okay what is the person uh, so uh, actually what is the what is the friction friction is what happen it's like a uh, you can say like a, it's like a oscillating motion only actually in fact we are oscillating so what what will happen like a it's like a controlled oscillation is what the walking so when we are walking what happen to our body body will oscillate no and some of what happen controlled toppling better you say what is a what is a walking walking is called as a controlled toppling all of you know toppling tilting so in fact when you are walking what happen in fact will tilt no will tilt left right will tilt front back and it's a controlled toppling is what called like a the friction so as we enter into rotation mechanics still more get better picture will come time being just with the basics i'll try to confine here and uh, now so all together uh, when we walk up and we do fall no we don't fall so therefore the net torque the net rotational effect must be zero about what point about the center of mass or this called like a navel what is c c the center of mass of the person or center of gravity better you take it center of time being and where the weight the weight mg will act through that particular point so let i'll go for net torque about c that should be equal to zero the net torque about c must be zero or net torque about c zero means net rotational effect should be zero so all will set up a torque n1 n1 into d by 2 so what about its rotational effect will be anti clockwise it will try to rotate him anti clockwise then what about the friction f2 into h it will also try to rotate him anti clockwise then plus n2 into d by 2 will try to rotate him clockwise then f1 into h will try to rotate in clockwise under the action of all this still there won't be rotational effect because the net rotational effect is nullified how do we measure that torque force into perpendicular distance though do <coughs> don't have any idea of torque just leave it no problem so n1 plus d so and look at the arrows anti clockwise i take positive clockwise arrows i'll take it negative so based on that i'll give it symbols like this so we are interested to get expression for that particular step 
so here it will be n1 minus n2 d by 2 Okay, that, that, this is like this. Huh? N1, uh, expression for D is needed, no? So N1 minus N2 D by 2 is equal to F1 plus F2 H. It is. F1 minus F2. F1 minus F2. Okay, fine. Yeah. D is equal to, this will be F1 minus F2 H by n1 minus n2 usually f2 will be greater than f1 i'll write like this i'll adjust here 2h uh, two, two, two try to see this and now, now uh, you, you see that one. what is that d and f2 minus f1 is the resultant friction i'll put like this So if I put larger steps, what actually happens if I go for larger step? So I look at the step I took here. It's a larger step. No? So what this larger step will do? That the D is large here. When you put larger step, definitely open, you'll topple. How, how you topple? You're going to topple like this. You, you'll fall back. Uh, am I right? You'll fall back that one. So you're going to topple like this. So look at the arrow, that one will <coughs> fall back. Larger step it is. Huh? Larger step person will tilt back so that's why if you whenever uh, you see that so what will happen here uh, the, the thing is the all the things here the normal contact the torque will be such that it will topple here so therefore whenever so like a, if you are walking here what happened the smaller step will ensure smaller friction and what happened the toppling will not be there and slipping will not be there. You will not fall back here. That's why when you are walking on ice platform, smooth platform, what you should do? You should go for smaller step. By chance, if you stretch your leg, means if you go for larger step, the friction will be large and the net torque will be such that you will topple here. Go this idea. I think just you should remember the basic concept here. Nothing big. We don't have any application here. Got this? I think in SUMA you are having this. Or is there an objective? The smaller steps will ensure smaller friction and the person will not topple when not fall when he's walking on the ice. It's a correct statement. Huh? For that particular small option, you need this much of background. Not just like reading and selecting option and going out. You must be able to interpret mathematically. For this one, so smaller steps ensure smaller friction. Got the idea? No? D proportional to F, you see that one. Smaller steps. Ensure smaller friction. 